What's going on everybody and welcome. Today they've released two new mounts into the crown shop. Uh, the very unique, well, one of them is very unique and the other one is a reskin of another one. Um, will I be buying them? Do they wow me that much? No, but they definitely are interesting to say the least. The, uh, the first one <clears throat> is the dual skimmer mount, which is a reskin of the dual dragonflyer mount. I don't know. It's a little bit cheaper and it's a monotone color. Uh, some people like this kind of stuff. Uh, for me personally, I'd rather have a treant, which I have for a two person mount, but it definitely, you know, appeals to some. Uh, one of the more unique mounts that they've ever came out with is the Monarch Butterfly. I was in the Wu Commons and everyone was around the person who had it. When they would go around places, it was kind of uh, very bug-like when you flap the wings of the Monarch Butterfly. Uh, you know, it does. It kind of looks like a Monarch Butterfly. I mean, yeah, it is. Um, but very chrysalis themed. I think they're still trying to keep the hype up, um, especially with the soon to be released big summer update. Um, and I wanted to talk about that as well in this video, along with the two new mounts. You can also buy one for a seven day Monarch butterfly, uh, for 2,500 crowns. Um, but you, I don't think you can buy the dual skimmer mount for a you know, trial or rental or whatever. Um, so I will not be buying them right now unless, you know, I start to see them actually, you know, I don't know. I don't think I will. It was the same thing with the dragon flyer mount, the same premise that I have the treant. And normally when you have, um, you know, one mount that already does the job, then there's really no need to spend a lot of money on another one. Uh, but anyway, I want to talk about, I'm just going to walk around here, because uh, there's actually a, little, a lot of stuff to talk about, actually. Um, where to start, right? So, there's been a lot of rumors going on right now. A lot of things I've heard, a lot of things that uh, people have heard on Central, uh, Twitter, you know, everything, right? People, There's rumors and rumors and rumors. Well... I know for a fact, well, semi-fact, the Big Summer Update will be happening very soon. I mean, we're talking within a week or two weeks or so. Definitely July or beginning of July. End of July, beginning of July. Definitely July, okay? Now, what's going to entail this update, which I feel like with the release of these amounts, you know, has a little bit of uh, hype around it. I don't think it's chrysalis themed from what all of the things have been talking about. Um, there's a lot of hints at a Wisteria um, kind of expansion. Uh, I've read this on Central. Um, there's a huge post about it. Uh, people have told me about it. Uh, checked on Twitter about it. You know, there's a lot of sources and normally... The sources that I've seen have been always right with uh, what they've known. Even one of the, I think the program directors or some, like Gary or, I forgot his last name. Gary Scott, is it? Uh, he's on Twitter and he's been talking about a few things, uh, trying to get people hyped. Um, and then there's also a lot of other stuff that I don't think, uh, I think might be false and or... Um, things in the way future that I don't think I'm going to talk about because if I do, then it'd probably start, uh, people freaking out of excitement and everything else that I don't think is actually true, but I don't know yet. There's a lot of speculations as always with this game, right? You have to, uh, fish out the ones that make sense. Uh, so anyway, Wisteria expansion, um, there's been hype of possible new pets coming out. Uh, there have been notions to the fact that there are there is a level 100 dungeon with new gear sets like of Earth and all these other ones and blah blah blah. Uh, 
and notions that we are like the teachers and you know it's kind of like a similar thing to where it's going to be a dungeon possible of cheating uh kind of like the tower of elephant right uh which which uh, i don't think gave sets of gear but i feel like that might be the case this time around that's my highest hope all right that's the highest hope of that rumor and different things i've been reading on central and everything else uh, and what I've been hearing. That's the highest hope, right? So, you got that. Um, you got the gear sets that are rumored. You got expansion that is rumored. Uh, Wisteria is a very interesting place. I've actually come around to like the area. I feel like I'm always on the fence about it. Because maybe this expansion will give it new light. And actually have more story and background to the place. Uh... To truly give it the recognition it deserves. And make me open up my eyes to what maybe it holds. Uh, you know, but maybe not. We'll have to see. I've been disappointed before. We've all been disappointed before. Uh, so we're just going to have to wait on the sidelines and uh, hope for the best, right? That's what we always do. Um, so, kind of just babbling on about... I don't even know if they're rumors anymore at this point. I think they're kind of reality. Because the sources I've been seeing, and I'm sure a lot of you have read as well. I mean, it's a huge thread. And different things that are going on and things I've heard. Um, so, anyway. Speculate below. Um, hype for the new mounts. I mean, they're not bad. I mean, they really aren't. I think one of the most unique ones that they've ever created is the Monarch Butterfly, to be honest. Um, I think it's very interesting. I think it is. Um, so anyway, comment below what you think. Uh, Wisteria expansion question mark. Uh, needed or not. Level 100 dungeon hype or nah. Uh, would you want... I mean, we're talking best case scenario. Would you want a level 100 dungeon? See, here's the thing talking about that. Uh, gear in any dungeon, it seems like, anymore in this game, is sadly next to impossible to get. And... That bothers me. Um, if they were to make a dungeon and, you know, all the things that have been rumored, they need to make the gear obtainable. I mean, if you have gear that's not obtainable and people can't actually have fun with their friends and at least have a glimmer of hope to getting it, then what's the point of actually playing, right? I mean, we've seen the amulets, both of them, Morganth, you can't even get your own. Luce has done it over 500 times and still hasn't gotten his. I've only done it, like, I don't know, 50 or less or so. I mean, you know, it's sad. It is. Uh, but maybe that's what they're going for, and I don't know if that's actually the right plan or direction they should be going. Uh, but anyway, comment on what you think. Uh, hype today. Um, so anyway, I'll see you guys next time. A walkthrough is going out later today. Shirataki Temple. So, look forward to that. Anyway. I'll see you guys next time, and also comment what your favorite new mount is, uh, which one out of the two, and I'll see you guys next time.